No matter which selection tool or method you use, you'll often need to clean up the edges of a selection. And a great place to do that is in the Select and Mask workspace. Here I have a photo with two layers, the model on the top layer, and this photo of a pond on the background layer. I've started a selection already around the model that I'd like to use to hide the background on the model layer so we can see down through to the pond below. Now I'm going to refine that selection in the Select and Mask workspace. Now if you're following along with this tutorial using this image, you can load the selection as you see it here and follow along with me from this point on. To do that, go up to the Select menu and choose Load Selection. Go to the Channel menu and there you'll find Model. Select Model and click OK and that will add the selection as you see it here around the model. So now let's take this selection into the Select and Mask workspace. I'll go up to the Options bar for the Quick Selection tool or I could go to the Select menu and choose Select and Mask or I could access Select and Mask from the Options bar of other selection tools. I'll click Select and Mask and that opens the image into a separate workspace, the Select and Mask workspace. Over on the left side of the Select and Mask workspace, there's a tools panel that has just a few tools in it. I'm going to select the Zoom tool and then I'm going to click on the image to zoom in and then I'm going to go over to the right and go to the View menu and choose the view in which I want to work. I'm going to choose the Overlay view here. In the Overlay view, things that aren't selected are red. And so right away I can see that there's an area here that didn't get selected. Fortunately, there are tools in the Tools panel that will help me. One of those is the Quick Selection tool. And that works the same way as the regular Quick Selection tool out in Photoshop proper. So with this tool, I can come into the image and just drag over that area and it will select it and find the edge and stop the selection there. And I can try the same thing here and up here as well. And I can change the size of this brush by pressing the left bracket key on my keyboard to make it smaller or the right bracket key to make it larger. I'll hold the space bar and I'll drag to see another part of the image. Now here the edge doesn't look very well defined so I'm going to try another tool here which is the brush tool. The brush tool is just what it says, a regular brush that you can use to paint in a selection. So I'm just going to carefully paint along this edge and that will include more of the skirt in the selected area. Now I'll hold down the space bar again and let's go up and take a look at her hair. Over here is an area where I can still see some of the green background through the strands of her hair. So I'm going to try a different tool to fix this. And that's the second tool in the Tools panel. I'll move into the image with that brush. I'm going to make it a little smaller by pressing the left bracket key on the keyboard a few times. And then I'm just going to click on that green to try to remove it, but keep her hair in the selection. And I'll do that over here as well. Now I'd like to see her against a different background. So I'll go over to the View menu and I'll choose On Layers. And this shows me how she'll look against the new background layer in the composite. I'll go over to the Tools panel and I'm going to double click the Hand tool to fit the entire image on the screen. In this view, I can see that some of the edges are a little soft and not smooth. So I'm going to use a couple of sliders over here in the Properties panel to fix that. I'll scroll down And in the Global Refinements area, I'm going to drag the Smooth slider over to the right a bit to try to smooth out the edge of the selection. And I'll drag the Contrast slider over to the right to make the edge of the selection a bit sharper. Now, of course, you can spend more time fine-tuning the edge of a selection here in the Select and Mask workspace. But we'll go with this for now, so I can show you how you can output the resulting selection. From the Output To menu, I'm going to choose to output as New Layer with Layer Mask because that gives me a lot of flexibility to make changes later. And then I'll click OK. That closes the Selected Mask workspace and takes me back out to Photoshop proper. So here you can see the model with the original background selected out and the new background, the background on the bottom layer, showing through. So that's an introduction to how you can use some of the tools and controls in the Selected Mask workspace to clean up selections that you make with any selection method.